Hey folks, this is Keith at Don Redwood Groves. Uh, sorry for being gone for so long. I had a, kind of a, a miserable summer. I had some uh, illnesses in the family and lost a couple people and uh, just time flew by. But I'm going to try getting back into this. I want to give you a quick update on the homestead, see where we're at, show you where we're at, and uh, tell you where we're going and a couple of videos that I've started taping, um, but I, I just haven't got them published. But I thought I'd do a quick one here and show you where we're at. So I'll give you a quick walk around the uh, aquaponics greenhouse. We, uh, the IBCs, uh, we had a little issue. Uh, one of the fish tanks um, got plugged and overflowed and drained uh, my IBCs. Uh, so that was a little issue we got. Um, I got the doors done, did them all in red oak. I've got a uh, screen in here for it for when uh, summertime right now there's just a piece of insulation on there um, it's gorgeous in this in the day but it gets cold at night I am filling um, the other IBC right now with rainwater that we have from the smaller greenhouse pumping that in so we got that going just to keep the reservoir full um, we were getting rain all the time all of a sudden we get three weeks of no rain I'm uh, draining the swimming pool for the winter so I have that swimming pool water in there and uh, take a break here's the two doors for the front of the greenhouse going in here and uh, in the greenhouse I'm adding the thermal mass um, I've got Oh, what do we got? 12 55 gallon blue drums, and I'm going to use three of the pickle barrels, 60 gallons, right here in this corner to add some thermal mass. The uh, fish tanks we're cranking out. Uh, all three fish tanks are full. Quite frankly, these fish, if I can get them to come up here, maybe. Um, they're about getting close to be um, yum yum food. Uh, we're sitting right now. 75 74 degrees temperature 6.4 the pH and 1.2 on conductivity uh -huh. The media beds We're going pretty good. We've got uh, watermelon growing in here uh, So we got a little watermelon growing right here. We just put them in, in the fall. We got some peppers growing some purple peppers uh, In the floating rafts we got some duckweed. We're trying to do some duckweed so that maybe that is uh, sustainable uh, food for the fish. We've had a tough issue with media beds trying to grow um, leafy greens. Seeds just seemed like it was just too hot for the germination. Uh, we had some mouse, mice, uh, shall we say, coming in and eating all of our seeds. Um, but look at our tomato plants. We are cutting branches off on a regular basis just so that we can walk through here. Um, we've been picking off tomatoes left and right got a little hot and uh, stopped blossoming but yeah, I don't know if you can see it there we got some of the smaller tomatoes are coming up um, we got we've got some fall already small fall tomatoes are coming in that is a heritage tomato these there's some um, itsy bitsy tiny tomato plant in here and then this is cherry tomatoes so that kind of gives us an update on the aquaponics. It's up and running, um, all off grid. So let's talk about off grid. I'm running about 6.5 kW of solar panels. Um, we use about 21 kW just for the solar system. And uh, we got the system there. A little sneak peek there. I think I just showed you what's going on right now. I'm running a grow watt um, uh, yeah, Grow watt charger. I'm running an aim 6,000 watt 220 uh, volt uh, Inverter and I have five uh, EG4 LL batteries. So 25.6 kW of batteries um, This is running everything for the greenhouse and anything I need back here um, in the barn for the sawmill, my um, table saw, planer, 
anything. I can run, like I said, 6,000 watts. I'm only using about eight to 900 watts on the greenhouse. Um, so we can pretty much power out anything. And quite frankly, right now, because I've got smaller cables, you can see the inductive uh, amp meter there. I've actually detuned this a little bit just so that I don't over uh, current those four gauge. I need to go to uh, either two gauge or single watt, single watt uh, cable, but haven't done that yet. Um, sawmill. <laughs> Yeah, we got her covered. It is beautiful. Did a timber build. Um, I've cut this wood. It took me probably a year and a half to get all this wood cut. This is all red oak down here. Um, I built the trusses. It spans 15 by 30 feet. Um, the trusses are pine, uh, mainly for weight. I was a little concerned on how heavy it was going to be to lift them up there by myself in the tractor, but we got it all up there. But so now, sawmill is all covered. I don't have to put a tarp over I love it. It's beautiful. Um, so that's working out really good for me. Um, got that going. Firewood. Firewood is all full. I'm sitting here with multiple years of firewood. Uh, I haven't really sold any, but I think that's what's gonna happen. I've set up, I moved the wood splitter over here up high because I actually started taking uh, truckloads of firewood uh, versus uh, saw logs and uh, I'm sitting here with about 80 face cord of firewood. Now, I know everybody says it's not enough and it's not. If I start really selling this will be gone in a heartbeat. Um, but I have about 40 face cord. It's easily good for this year. Another 40 face cord for next year. So I can sell a little bit and see what's going on and to grow up the market. Or grow my market share if that's what I want to do. And I think that's what I want to do because in the background there, I bought a commercial wood splitter. Had an opportunity so I snagged it. It is a Timberwolf TW5. Uh, needs some work, but um, it does run and function. I have a six-way splitter for it. Um, I'm talking with them right now in order the four-way splitter and the table for it. Um, but everything works on it really nice. I just need to clean it up. So we're gonna work on that. So the present project right now is my solar kiln. I have, uh, it's a seven by 14 foot uh, solar kiln I'm in the process of building. It's pretty much all built. It's all skinned as you can tell. I have the fan box all uh, built. It's on uh, two by 12 floorboards. Uh, it's on two by 12, um, uh, whatever the heck, I can't even think what that is. But the, the frame, and then I'm sitting on five and a half by 12's beams. Um, concrete slab pads, two foot by three foot deep. So it uh, shouldn't move anywhere. So that's a present project. I am doing some videos on this, but you'll see this before you can see the video release on that. But anyhow, that's just a quick update to let you know I haven't fallen off the face of the earth. Well, the sawmill has quite a few logs. We still have in here, we have some white oak, we have some red oak, uh, we got some maple, uh, got some pecan on magnolia. Took a truckload of magnolia for a customer and, and unfortunately it didn't work out for the customer, but man, I have magnolia. And I have magnolia so big I've never seen. Look how big this monster is. So, we're gonna put that on the saw and cut it. You know, that's, I don't know, that's pretty close to 30, 34 inches right there that wide. So we're gonna have to whittle this down a little bit over here in this corner, but that should be a fun job. Uh, again, a bunch of red oak and some white oak there and uh, you can see I've got some stuff over here I'm starting to put this as my finish uh, drying air drying lumber slabs and mantles so again that's pretty much it I wanted to give you a quick update of where I am what we're doing hope you'll like and enjoy and please uh, give me that thumbs up you do and hit that subscribe button I really appreciate it this is Keith Don Redwood Grows you have a great day